What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the LLC. I'm your host, Mr. LLC. And today we've got a pellet trap that I found at Academy Sports. It's a sporting goods store that's down the street. They sell all sorts of clothing, shoes, athletic equipment, shooting, paraphernalia, all that stuff. And I found this in their goods. So it's a Monarch air gun pellet trap. Uh, let's see here. It comes with a hundred cards. Let's read the description here. Uh, pellet trap with rare pellet capture backstop. It includes mounting keyholes for easy hanging or use freestanding. Includes 100 Monarch paper targets, easy to assemble for use with soft nose lead pellets. Rated for 177 caliber under 1000 FPS minimum distance of 25 meters, which is 82 feet. Okay. Um, not for use with BBs or hardened steel, synthetic or composite tipped pellets. So none of that uh, pointed stuff or uh, I guess hollow point shredders, things of that nature. Um, it says air gun use. You got a pistol and a rifle. Um, there is the other side of the box. Nothing on top. Repeating itself. And on the rear, it says the same stuff that was on the front. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this together. And we're going to give it a shot with the Umarex SA-10 here. We're going to go ahead and use that today. So I'm going to put this together uh, off camera so I don't bore you with the details. Well, let me open it so you can see what's inside. And then I'll hop in the time machine and get you guys in the future where it's built. Okay, so here is our... Careful. Hardware. We've got a bag of screws. Your target. Uh, trap. You get your hundred targets. Monarch. Pretty neat. I guess you can buy refills because I think I saw them sold separately as well. And the user manual on how to assemble your target and you get your customer service and all that stuff. It's made in China. Academy.com. That's the website you can find this thing. Uh, it tells you here, obviously wear eye protection. I don't always say that I am wearing it when I'm shooting, but I am wearing my my protection. Uh, let's see here. It's rated for 177 caliber under 1,000 feet per second. So I guess you could shoot up to 999 feet per second at a minimum distance of 25 meters or 27 yards. No BBs. I don't shoot BBs. At least I don't have, well, I did one time. I'm not shooting them anymore. Uh, okay, tells you instructions, precautions, all that. Tools you would need, one Phillips screwdriver, parts that are included, all your hardware, instructions on how to assemble and Give me a sec, we'll get it set up. All right, so <clears throat> we've got it all put together. Uh, it's freestanding, or you can hang it on a backboard or your, your pellet stop or something back there um, on a nail. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. So you're going to slide your card in front and as you shoot, your pellet's going to travel 
and it's going to feed your pellet if it's going fast enough, which it should. It'll travel through your target, okay? Now I'll show you how the target goes in. Through your target, into the cavity in the back, and fall, hit the wall and fall down, and be contained down here. That's what's supposed to happen. I say supposed to happen. So we're gonna try it out. So your monarch, your tar your monarch target, you just slide it right down in the grooves. That's it. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. And then you shoot, go in there, and your pellets end up in this in the tray. So um, let's go ahead and see if it works pretty well. Sit tight. All right, so you see we got the target set up, <clears throat> the trap set up, and it's just sitting free, free standing or free sitting. It's on its own on the cardboard box. That's it. Okay, it's in the pallet trap or in the garage. I'm gonna go back as far as I could, the, well, 20 feet, because like I said in the other video, I, I did move some stuff. So, um, what we're shooting today, we are, well, we're using the Diablo Basics. Pretty much paper punches. Um, we're going to send them at the target. <clears throat> See how well this trap works. Uh, so it's 44 degrees outside, which makes it about probably... I don't know, 50 in my garage or 52. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot. Okay. There's a fresh uh, CO2 in here. I'm going to shoot these three. Okay. We're going to look at it. We're going to pause. I'm going to let the CO2 warm back up, come back out, shoot three more mags repeat as necessary. I just want to check out the trap and see how it works. Maybe one, maybe one mag is enough. I don't know. Or, or you know, one clip, three mags is enough. But uh, yeah, let's give that a try. So let's get you guys nice and close. Right there. Right on. Okay, so we got a fresh CO2 in there, like I said, and we're using those Diablo Basics. I'm gonna go ahead and get pierced. instruction said ideally but I think we're in the right range um, all right checking out the new monarch target paper trap how oh, trap firing Okay, I was shooting a little low. Okay. There we go. That should be eight. That's eight. Yeah, that CO2 cartridge is pretty cold. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do eight more.
That's eight. How do we do? Huh? Straight up and down, not bad. Started low at first, then. Yeah, at least I stayed within the rings. But, uh, yeah, this, I'm just going to make this a short video for you guys. You, you don't want to see any more than that. Uh, okay, so, did it cast pellets? Are they in the back there? Let's find out. We got our paper target. Got smashed up pretty all right. Let's get you zoomed out so we can get a proper look at that. Well, okay. I've done better, and I'm sure you, some of you guys have too. And there are pellets there. And let's see, did any make it to the back of the tray? I don't know, I can't tell. It's shut from the top. So, let's see. Let's get rid of these here. Yep, there's pellets in there. Here's the ones that we just took out. So let me uh, put these in the bin. Okay. And we're going to, let's go ahead and empty these out. Here's some more. So it works. It works uh, pretty decent. Um, just curious how it would work outside at a longer range, but I don't have any 177 anything to shoot this at a long distance. So maybe this will be my 3 a.m. plinker or 3 a.m. target practice uh, deal. I think. I think we have a winner for this one. I, I really do. I like it. The it's the Monarch pellet trap comes with 100 of these targets. I've got 99 left, and yeah, you saw it. It catches the pellets. I was at 25 feet, 20 feet, excuse me, and it did the job. So. It's your boy, Mr. LSE, signing out, wishing you God bless and uh, target practice. Peace. Get you a pellet trap like this one. Great for the garage.